Hi guys, welcome back. In this lesson, we will be downloading and installing PostgreSQL and PostGIS. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to open our web browser. Okay, so now let's search for PostgreSQL download. Okay, so we will be using the PostgreSQL.org link. Okay, so we will select the Windows installer. And then we click on download the installer. Okay, so we want to download the latest PostgreSQL version and we will select the Windows installer. Okay, so once that is done, we locate the install file. Okay, and now let's double click the installer to install PostgreSQL. Okay, so let's just click next and make sure everything is selected here. Okay, so over here, the password that we will use is just Postgres in small caps. So this just makes it easier to remember for this example. So next, we will keep the default port. Okay, so let's just wait for that to finish installing. So when the installation completes, we'll have the stack builder installation option. So the Stack Builder is a tool that will allow us to download PostGIS or any other additional PostgreSQL tools. So that will only pop up after PostgreSQL has finished installing. Okay, so now PostgreSQL has been installed and now you have the option to launch the Stack Builder. So we're going to use the Stack Builder to install additional add-ons. So the add-ons that we will be installing is PostGIS, PGAdmin and the ODBC driver for PostgreSQL. So make sure that the stack builder is checked and then click on finish. Okay, so over here we can see the stack builder window. So we'll just select the PostgreSQL version and port and click on next. Okay, so here we have a list of add-ons. So the first one that we will install is PG Agent. And then we also need to install the database driver. So this will allow us to connect to PostgreSQL from any application. So we will select the 64-bit version. Okay, and then lastly, we will select the PostGIS extension. So we just click on Spatial Extensions, and then we'll select the latest one. Okay, so make sure that all of that is checked, and then click on Next, and then Next again. Okay, so it will download the tools that we have selected, and then it will install them. Okay, so we can start installing all the tools. Okay, so this is the PG agent setup. And the password will be the same as everywhere else, which is Postgres. And then next. Okay, so our system password will be our Windows login password. Then next. Okay, so now click on finish. Okay, so now we will install the ODBC driver. Okay, so now we will install PostGIS. And then make sure you check on Create Spatial Database to test the functionality of this tool. So it will create a sample spatial database in PostgreSQL. And if that's successful, then we know that PostGIS is working. So click on next. And then the password is still Postgres. Okay, so the installation is successful. So now we have successfully installed Postgres SQL and PostGIS. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.